And we're back. We're finally close to being done with this shit. Uh, you know, this really does feel like the Star Fox Adventures depression all over again. Like, I, I really can't know. stress that enough. This really feels like the Star Fox Adventures depression. How <laughs> we've <clears throat> oh. we've went from being... Oh, that's... Whoa. Well, hi, Proto Man. How are you? That's kind of quick. Oh, and then he runs away. Kind of like Proto Man. That's probably going to sound really bad. Do, 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 do. That's probably going to sound really bad on the microphone. I just whistled it. I'm probably going to have to cut it. I know that now. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. Stranger things have happened. Ah. Oh, great. Now we got billboard robots now. Okay, now that actually makes sense. Oh, I just saw it! I just saw the, uh, the, the Aaron, uh, you see art, artwork just, you just pass by. Alright, I'll make sure yes. to freeze frame it. Oh, it's one of those levels. Side scroll, and there it is again. <laughs> hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump! Headphones again, dude. Really? I told you you need to turn the sound down. Trying my best. If I turn turn you down low enough, you're gonna be like, you wall. Probably super. Well, then I'll start intentionally super. whispering just so oh. you can't hear me because I'm a fucking douche like that sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll admit it. I'll admit it. I'm kind of an asshole. I'm okay with it. Kind of. I'm trying to be generous to myself here. Okay. <laughs> Oh, hey, Mick. Guts man crush. <laughs> the freaking remake of Guts man. Who's you know, kind, kind of easier than, than Guts man. That's kind of saying something, too, because Gutsy wasn't that hard to start with. Eh, I'm still I'm proud of you for, for pulling out that one clutch, though. Oh, yeah. So, so I'm kind of pro oh. take your compliment I'll, I'll, when you can actually get it because you probably won't get another one for a very long time. I don't know. I don't. Stages like these kind of make me nervous, or I just don't know when to move or not. I fucking hate side scrolling uh, levels. Yeah, but they're... the thing with this game is that can I go now? There's okay. been a whole lot of nothing interesting in these levels. Like, I've been looking at these levels the entire time. These levels have all been so generic, straightforward, basic, oh, there go. boring. You died. Um, mm -hmm. you're in the fire. You're in the fire. You're in fire. I'm in the fire. You're in the fire. You died. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What do you mean I'm in the fire? I'm not nowhere near <laughs> fire right now. No, if there was fire, I would be going, <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> seriously though like this game I, I, I watched something you know while I was killing time waiting for this uh, record session to hopefully never come sadly it did um <laughs> you guys think I'm joking I have a completely straight face right now like I could not be more serious I was lamenting the fact that I was even going to have to look at this game ever again. But, um, I finally happened to click on the one video. I can't tell you who it's by. I don't remember off the top of my head. But another YouTuber put up a video that's Mighty Number no. 9 doesn't get Mega Man. And I that's... i kind of seen that around YouTube. I've been, been meaning to click it, but kind of don't, didn't want to. Basically, what it's saying is like well kind of self-evident that mighty number no. nine just honestly does not get what made mega man great while it's trying to be the successor to mega man and you don't have to be a perfect clone to be a successor but at the same time one thing that uh -huh. mega man was never about was about combos and about score and it feels like they tried to rehash mega man to be about speed combos, combos and score which 
defeats the entire purpose of a platformer like this. It sucks all the creativity out of it. It sucks all of the, the life out of the levels. Like, correct me if I'm wrong here, because you're, you're playing. But is it me, or have all these levels been, like, super generic and super boring? You are not wrong. Like, this looks to me like it is honestly a chore to play. Correct me any time if I'm wrong. <laughs> you know, I'm... you are not wrong. I swear you're not. <sighs> I think Jack has trained me a little too well. Also, you have no lives left. No, because uh, we have wheels that bounces, and I really don't know when the hell should I just just dash on the under room or whatever. Well, oh wait, which... I, never mind. I got another life. Da -da 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 was Mick actually getting shit done there? He he appeared so briefly I couldn't honestly tell. Ah! Up the okay. I'll... Breaking news: the road kills you. Like that really wasn't a big surprise. <laughs> yeah, like all of fucking Avi's breaking news reports. God damn. Ugh. I was about to say. I was about to say. Uh. Breaking news. Small robot child jumps off a car and kills himself. We could only be so what? lucky. I mean, what? Who said that? <laughs> what was that ah, about? Shit. Oops. I, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Beck. Sorry. Sorry. The orphanage named him Beck. I'm going by his parents' name for him. Ah, Infinite Dagger! It worked! <laughs> oh my gosh, you actually lived <laughs> from Infinite Dagger. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> That's seriously all I can think of every time you, that you do that. It's just Infinidaga! Infinidaga! <laughs> Dan just. Oh, sh ah! oh really? <laughs> he fucking cut the car in half! Well. Uh, that's interesting. Now I know what his power is, is or some of his powers. Huh. So now I know what to do. Are you sure you know what to do? Yes. Are you sure we're not going to spend this entire level just running in a circle? I'm pretty sure. No, you know what? I have to say, there were... I, I kind of have a little bit of the same kind of thing going right now. As you guys can tell, I have no fucking energy. I'm not even going to try to act like I have energy because just looking at this game just essentially just like fucking vampires me. It just like drains me of all of my blood. And I'm just sitting here, neither dead nor alive, just kind of going... Blood. Blood. I'm just kind of sitting here like, why am I still alive? <laughs> I can't do anything to keep myself alive, but why am I still alive? <laughs> why am I even here right now? Oh yeah. Why do all these squares make a circle? <laughs> I can't Metroid crawl. Why did Jack quit this LP? You have all these like, questions and no answers. But anyway, anyway, um, what I was getting at, um, I don't know if I mentioned in here yet, or at least in one that we've kept because of glorious microphone issues. But um, where was I going with that? Oh, I've had a, at least similar situation to this myself with the getting annoyed dying and no these two or three technically three lives aren't enough and all that happy crap because i um i've been playing zx advent like all week so zx advent is fun as hell yeah have you played zx advent yes i will say this okay so we can actually talk about this a little bit did you beat it <laughs> uh yeah i did okay i have to say the story was not bad, but the presentation of the story was not that good. There was a lot of sections of just, like, Skyward Sword Syndrome, where it was like, Okay, we get it. Can I jump and shoot now, please? I don't, I'm tired of the story now. I want to kill things. But Prometheus is a badass. Blow things up. Prometheus is a fucking badass. Straight up and to the point. Like, in any game that... 
any Mega Man game that Prometheus is in. Prometheus makes fucking awesome. But, um, <laughs> the voice acting for the Mavericks was really bad. But, very, oh my god. Pro, again, Prometheus made up for it. Prometheus made up for it. <laughs> so it was okay. <laughs> but, um, but no, like, just going to the point here, because we did the thing again where we talk about five other things instead of actually what we're trying to talk about. We're such good commentators. Um, <laughs> fuck, dude. Um, one thing that it never really bothered me when I died. I mean, I got frustrated in a couple spots. There were a couple spots that I felt like were honestly bullshit. Fuck you, Queen Bee, specifically. Go fuck yourself, Queen Bee. <laughs> um, but. Tired of your shit. Seriously, that bitch took way too long to kill. But at the same time, it's not like. Even when it got to the point of, okay, I've played this level so many times, I just want to be done with this level. It was never something where. I could have just jumped into the level and essentially ran straight and cleared it. So, you know, and every one of them had a lot of creativity put into it. All of the levels had, you know, a lot of sections you had to think around. Actually, actually got to have some sort of strategy. S serious question here. Other than bosses... How many times have you actually had to use one of your powers? How many times in this in Mighty Number no. Nine would you have died, or just been straight up unable to progress any, if you did not use one of the powers of the um, of the robots you've beaten? How many times I, I, I would have died if I haven't used any powers? Yeah, a lot. Ah, oh, shit! No, like no, no, I'm not. I'm talking about. Just the special weapons. I'm talking about outside of bosses. Oh, I can think of one. No, I, 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 I wouldn't. I wouldn't die. I'll probably just try my best to keep spamming the hell out of it. But yeah, I, I can honestly think of once through this LP that you've actually needed to use one of your powers through the course of a level, and it was seismic. That was during, yeah, during mix level. Where I had to fucking. Use the the crash, the crash bomb. essentially a fucking crash bomb. Yeah. Thank, ah shit! Damn it! Thank you, ran out of budget, man, for that one. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm still always gonna refer to Battalion as ran out of budget, man. But um, nothing but a head, no torso. Seriously, head, what is that design? Anyway, um, Back but that, the that's the perfect opposite of of Advent, like ZX Advent. Everywhere you go, you have to constantly be switching age brands. You have to constantly change your approach, and there's no one right way to do it. There's multiple ways you can do it. Some will get you hurt a little more than others, but most of your age brands, you can get to where you need to go with. Buckfire. Buckfire is actually surprisingly <laughs> useful for being the first one that you get. Um, Buckfire. <laughs> Voltron is useless. Fuck him. Um, <laughs> but, <laughs> but um, even even Chronoforce. Chronoforce turns entire levels into jokes. So like, uh, God, really? I'm pretty sure I landed on that goddamn car. That was actually kind of funny. I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty sure I landed on that goddamn car, but no. No. Actually, I have to say while we're talking about Corona Force here. Freaking Thetis. Freaking Thetis. You remember, you remember fighting Thetis, right? Yeah. Thetis only does not get as hard of a middle finger as Queen Bee does because he was in the water where I could use the fucking Corona Force time stopper on him. <laughs> Seriously, fuck that guy. It was fucking annoying. But I swear it was. 
But all in all, it was a well-designed, they were well-designed levels. You had to think, you had to, you know, figure out who works best for here. And as you're going, too, even after you've beaten the level a couple times, there's so many opportunities where you can go, hey, maybe this will work better here. Or when you get a different A-trans, like <clears throat> for me going through Queen Bee's level, once I got, um, what's it called? Once I got Aeolus's A-trans. That, like, changed the whole landscape. This, you can go literally anywhere, and it doesn't matter. Because no, the only thing that's going to affect anything is the other mighty numbers popping into the level to, uh, to help you, potentially, or not. And some of them don't even really make a noticeable difference. What difference they do make is negligible, even if they Boom. do make an actual difference. Like, frickin' Battalion, when he came into mix level... And blew that one thing up. Yeah. That thing I watched. That thing gets stuck on a wall. Like five feet after that and is useless. Battalion literally had no purpose to show up in that level. He did nothing. Oh, snap boss. Maybe. I don't know. I'm kind of confused. But we're going to end this here. Just, just in case if it is the boss. <sighs> Maybe I'll still be intelligent when we come back. Maybe my brain will be straight up fried. <laughs> we don't know. All these squares make a All circle, right, well, guys. We'll see you. <laughs> see ya.